Uh, uh, hello, Florence. <laughs> I have five minutes, so I'll be quick. Uh, I'm from uh, ISRIC, World Soil Information Center. We maintain our reference collections of all the soils in the world. Uh, our scientists crawl, uh, go to all places to, to create a, a and that we show that on the museum and we have that uh, in store. We also have a data set, so we uh, fetch any data that we can get on, de on uh, soils uh, from all over the world and we, uh, our statisticians, build a global soil model uh, which we then uh, have access, uh, as open access available. Uh, on the conference you may, uh, may uh, see these people running around, that's us, uh, the OSGO team at ISRIC. Uh, George is not here unfortunately, but you may know him. Uh, this is a bit the stack that we have. We run a DevOps uh, environment on Kubernetes, and uh, we have a lot of uh, open source software that we're using. Um, so here's the problem setting that I want to bring today, is that uh, data dissemination is just too difficult. And uh, uh, it, it's only required incidentally at the end of a project, and you really have to think, oh, what do I have to do, where do I have to click? Uh, it involves multiple uh, tasks, multiple environments, and the task is not reproducible. So this is where we think DevOps uh, brings in uh, good conventions. So the deployment of data uh, can be done with Git workflows. The content itself is more versioned in Git, and metadata equals data, or the other way around. Um, so this results in transparent data management, and uh, we can, our soil community uh, suggests improvements via the Git uh, issue management. Uh, let me first introduce you to the, to the sidecar uh, concept. We have the, the, the geo package or the shapefile somewhere on our system, and we, uh, there should be, always be a metadata file next to that. As we uh, introduced uh, that concept in the 90s, or at least they made it big, um, and we continue on that. So I'm going to present a set of tools that we have around this uh, concept to, to support the data DevOps. Uh, so this PyGeoData crawler, um, it runs on a folder of files. So when you start a new project, you get some data from, from a customer and, and you run the tool just to see what's in that folder. Um, if there's metadata, you import it. If there's no metadata, it will use GDAL to, to fetch a metadata from that file and then users can suggest additional metadata via Git pull requests. Um, then there's PyMap file crawler. Um, we use the sidecar uh, in metadata information to generate automatically a map server map file. Um, the URL to access that map file is then introduced back in the metadata. So if that metadata ends up in a catalog, you can access that, that WMS, WFS. Initial style is default, but you can override it with a style uh, sidecar file. Um, yeah, we see, we're looking forward to see OGC API maps also land in PyJ API, so we can also support the, the PyJ API uh, tool chain. Um, then there's the next uh, step, that's a community data-driven harmonization. Of course, uh, with all that data, soil data coming in from all, all over the world, it has thousands of formats. So, uh, Luis, our, our ATL guy, uh, has a lot of effort to harmonize that to a common model. Um, but here we want to uh, ask the community to help out. Um, we set up an initial transformation script and um, the people in the community can improve suggestions to, to the transformation script. Rename table X to Y. Um, each change on the transformation script runs a CI-CD process which does the harmonization again. And uh, in the logs of the harmonization, of, in the logs of the CI-CD, you can see if things fail. So that's very transparent. And then, to my surprise, there was already such a thing. It's called Data to Services by University of Maastricht uh, from the medical uh, RDF uh, domain. But it was a, that kind of conferred me that this is really a, an interesting approach. So this is a project under active development. We're actually using this tooling in our own work processes, but the, the code itself is still very beta. So uh, this is uh, where I want to share ideas with you, if you maybe have already tooling available that we can use in our workflows, um, or actually uh, new ideas. So I really appreciated the, the lightning talk before this one, because that, I think that's also a very good use case. Okay. <laughs>